ensure everything you need is preset and at your fingertips before you create a project. Please note, you must be an administrator to configure your account. There are two areas in the software to configure, Database and Settings. Choose Settings by clicking the drop-down next to your name in the top right-hand corner. Under General, customize your project status, choose your company colors, and upload your logo. Under Projects, select your defaults for utility escalation rate and tax rates. Note you can select different settings for residential and commercial. Under Performance Simulations, choose your simulation and system loss preferences. Under Financing, choose your financial default settings such as Incentives, Project Life, System and Maintenance Assumptions, and Discount Rate. Again, you can select different settings for residential and commercial, including commercial-specific settings like depreciation. Next, let's move to the database. Here, you can preset your favorites for components and utility rates and create templates for financing and proposals. Select the type of component such as module or inverter. Search and favorite it by clicking the gray plus sign to turn it into a green check mark. It's now favorited and will appear at the top of your list when you're designing. You can do the same thing for inverters and DC optimizers. For utilities, you can favorite both the utility and the utility rate. You can also create carport and ground mount templates. For more information, visit our Help Center. You can favorite incentives. For our US-based customers, we have a database of all major incentives. For smaller, custom, or international incentives, you can create a custom incentive. You can add custom financing products for loans, PPAs, and leases. Cash will always be calculated for all projects. For more information on creating financing products, visit our Help Center. You can customize and create proposal templates. For more detail on customizing your proposal, visit our Help Center and you can set up default setback requirements in jurisdictions. Just add a jurisdiction, choose a city or state, and enter your setbacks. These setbacks will apply by default for all projects created in that area. For more help, check out help.aurorasolar.com or email support at aurorasolar.com for any questions.